hey guys welcome to digital Srini channel on youtube and as usual i request you to please subscribe to this channel and also do not forget to hit the like button for the videos that you happen to like now in this video we are going to talk about deploying our tensorflow light trained model onto a raspberry pi for real-time detection of facial emotion age and gender this is exactly what we have done in the last video except we have done that on a windows 10 system and now we're going to do this on a raspberry pi now you probably know what tensorflow light is if you watched my previous videos but if you haven't a quick summary is tensorflow light is the light version of tensorflow trained model why do you need a lighter version? Because you can deploy that onto edge devices and edge devices are the ones that uh, typically an end consumer is going to use like a mobile device. And we are going to use Raspberry Pi as an edge device, although I should mention these are not as powerful as some of these embedded devices out there, but this gives us a good enough uh, way to deploy our TensorFlow Lite on a system that's not Windows 10. Yeah, and this works on uh, Linux. Again, a quick uh, summary of Raspberry Pi. This is basically a computer, a poor man's computer because this is somewhere between $50 to 75 US dollars. And it doesn't come with a mouse and a keyboard. So you need to connect those. And also this can be connected to your monitor, like just a TV screen maybe, if you don't have a separate monitor using HDMI port. And the modern ones, uh, the newer ones, they actually come with uh, Wi-Fi, uh, you know on on the you know on the system itself on this raspberry pi itself so you don't have to put an external uh, usb for wi-fi but uh, what i have is pi 3 model b and uh, this one has a 1 gb of memory so not much and uh, this runs on right now at least the one i have raspbian uh, version 9 that's the operating system of course this is linux Okay, so that's the uh, uh, information about the Raspberry Pi I have. And again, uh, these things can be pretty fun and addictive, right? If you want a weekend project, this can be very fun uh, because you have access to these GPIO ports that you can connect to many uh, interesting things. And you have uh, various interfaces right here, USBs and so on, which means you can do fun things like, in this case, this is what my son is doing. You know, there is like a automobile, uh, you know, with a battery that powers up the USB, I mean, that powers up my uh, Pi right here, and motorized wheels that are controlled via whatever code you write and deploy, uh, you know, using this Raspberry Pi. He also has some cool stuff like, uh, I think this is a, uh, you know, LCD display for of some sort, and there are some sensors right there. Yeah, these are just proximity sensors, so in case it's it's getting close somewhere, it knows that, hey, hey, don't go forward, go ahead and stop. Anyway, so that's the fun stuff that you can do, but let's also do something fun, which is again, real time detection of facial emotion, age and gender. So again, I hope you watched my previous videos. We detect face using OpenCV pre-trained models that are available on OpenCV's website. And for emotion, we trained our own model. Uh, watch that video. And for age and gender, also we trained our own models. And please be aware that emotion is going to be a bit more accurate than age and gender because these are typically even difficult like age obviously is very difficult for us uh, to predict uh, in in some cases and gender if you just look at the face the cropped out face part especially like 200 by 200 pixels gender can also be very difficult uh, to predict but emotion let's hope that uh, it has higher uh, accuracy and you probably saw that in my last uh, you know video where we deployed this on windows 10. Okay, I think this is enough uh, backstory. It's almost four minutes into this and uh, let's get into the actual uh, actual uh, uh, topic, which means I have to disconnect this video from Windows 10 and log on to Raspberry Pi and uh, do things on Raspberry Pi. And I'll explain all the basics, like because I haven't, we haven't like literally, this is as basic as it is. So I haven't installed TensorFlow. I haven't installed OpenCV, nothing. This is almost as I got it. And Python's there. If you if there is no Python, go ahead and check. You know, uh, and and usually they come with default. Uh, this is Linux, right? I mean, they have Python uh, two and Python three already there. Go ahead and update and upgrade this, which we'll do in a second to see uh, how the entire process looks like. So please follow the journey with me. Literally, I haven't tested anything yet, but let's hope that at the end of this video, this really works fine. And any issues that I encounter, 
we'll see. We'll record the video uh, screen as is, and then we see how we can solve those problems. But at the same time, I'll have to do some editing and post processing to make sure that the video is not long enough for you guys so you're bored to death, yeah? So let's jump in. Okay, so here it is, and let's open our command prompt, and let's type sudo apt update. This updates the, uh, you know, your Raspberry Pi, and depending on when you did that, the last time it may take a while. And once it's done, let's go ahead and do uh, apt upgrade, and this can be, again, uh, fast or slow, depending on when you have done uh, it the last time. And uh, let's say Python version is 2.7, and you have to type Python 3, uh, to get the Python 3 version. So here I have 3.5.3. And let's go ahead and make the directory called Python, uh, you know, emotion detection under Python projects. So we can put all our files in there. And now let's uh, first of all start by installing the virtual environment because we need, we want this environment to be separate, yeah, from everything else. If it's not already there, this is again, like I said, we are doing almost everything for the first time. So so let's see, uh, there you go. So virtual environment is getting there. And once it's there, we just need to create a separate environment for our uh, uh, emotion detection. So let's do that by ton three minus M virtual environment VN, T, let's call it TF light env. Yeah, so it's going to create that. And then we need to activate that environment. The way you do that, it's source TF light N because that's the name we gave slash bin slash activate there you go you should see you should see that okay uh, this is the environment it says there right there tf light n and now let's go ahead and type python to get into the python console it's getting there oh sorry we need python 3 yeah and let's type help modules to see what modules are installed so is there numpy there is no numpy there is no open cv so we need to install this NumPy and OpenCV. So let's do pip in, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong location. Let's exit. Okay, pip3 install NumPy. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so NumPy is installed now. And let's go ahead and import NumPy. Oops, what's wrong? Lib, oh yeah, there are a lot of dependencies that you need to install here. So you see that lib f uh, so on. So we need to we need to install some dependencies. So let's go ahead and do uh, uh, pseudo apt install. Uh, what is it? Lib atlas. I leave like whatever you need to install as part of the description down there. But let's go ahead and install the lib atlas based dev. Um, even if you don't know what the hell is going on, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and install these packages like sudo apt and pip3 for you know our Python packages. Uh, there are a lot of dependencies that you don't have on a Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and install the Qt4 dev tools. Uh, why am I installing these uh, libhdf5 and Qt4 dev tools and uh, uh, what the heck? Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue this. I'll leave what you need to install. Don't worry about this as part of the description because there are quite a few of these. And why quite a few of these? There are a lot of dependencies for OpenCV and I plan on using OpenCV. So to get to installing OpenCV, I need to install all these uh, all these dependencies right here, okay? So please be patient. Again, I'm going through these. I haven't done this behind the scenes because I want you to see what does it actually take yeah, to get the system uh, to get the system uh, ready uh, to do these type of predictions. But this is one time thing. Once you have this, once you have OpenCV, once you have, uh, let me keep an eye, where are we? Yeah, well, it's still unpacking, it's getting there. Once you have OpenCV and once you have TensorFlow uh, uh, Lite, then you're good. Let's go ahead and copy paste, sudo app get install, build essential. Uh, yeah, okay, so that is getting there. And uh, like I said, these are all the dependencies, and uh, as you can see, I, I have it on a different screen. I'm just copying and pasting those here. apt install lib jpeg. Again, this is another dependency for uh, OpenCV. Same thing here. So av codec dev. This is also another one that you need. And uh, lib. I should have. I could have actually ran all of these in a single line, like all these libraries. I'm doing this one by one, just in case if it says, hey, this doesn't exist, 
so I can I can correct it uh, you know but you can just put everything in one line install let me paste the next one copy the next one I should have just also enabled minus y that's okay and uh, depending sometimes these things can be very slow so you may spend half a day trying to install all of these so do I have to install let me copy the next one okay there you go we're almost there I mean this is the boring part I know but uh, just seeing the end result is not the thing right I mean it's not uh, I mean, it's it, that's what you want to see, but then you want to know what the missing pieces are. You don't want to end up spending half your, or uh, I, I said half your day, like maybe almost a day searching on Google for different errors and then trying to figure out how to fix it. I mean, these are the steps and hopefully it should work once this is done, we'll see. If not, we'll figure out why it didn't work and then go ahead and fix that stuff. Yeah, okay, so that's good. I already installed the Python 3 dev, I believe. Uh, let's install OpenC, oh, what the? Oh, sorry, I need to do pip3 install OpenCV dash, uh, I think, let me check. Yeah, contrib Python, yeah. So, so far we got all the dependencies and now it's installing OpenCV, right? Because we have, if there is any error, it'll throw that right now. Uh, it looks good. All signs are pointing in good direction. So come on, come on, no issues. There you go. So we have the, uh, installed all the dependencies and now let's uh, get into Python 3 just to make sure everything is working fine. Import CV2, import NumPy. Yep, great. Now we can exit, come back to our command prompt, clear the screen. Okay, so now let's check what version of, uh, you know, uh, Raspberry Pi we have and uh, what is the processor because this is important for us to install the TensorFlow Lite. So we have a Python 3.5.3, so let's go to this page. I'll put that in big letters later on when I record the video, but uh, go to this, uh, you know, on uh, github.com. Here I'm finding my 35, which is Python 3.5, armv7l.wheel. That's because that's the processor we have. Copy the link address. Let's switch back to our command prompt. And then Python 3 minus m pip install paste. There you go. And let it go. And it's, oh, it's already, uh, installed right there and it, it'll take some time if you haven't done this before so apparently i have done this before installing this tensorflow light so it went very fast uh, so here are the files that i have uh, copied from my windows machine and these are exactly the same ones that you probably should have right so here is my h5 file and tf light and there are two tf light versions one is without optimization one is with and you can see that my h5 files are pretty large and these are the two models from opencv to detect the face we just need one of those, not the I. Uh, if you open the code from our last uh, Windows uh, uh, system, in fact, I added these extra lines. Uh, you do not need full TensorFlow. You just need the TensorFlow runtime. You can install the entire TensorFlow, but you just need runtime because we want to execute it. See, we are importing TensorFlow runtime and importing interpreter. And here I'm importing TensorFlow uh, because I'm using image to array but I could have used OpenCV for that part. I don't need full TensorFlow. So the point I'm trying to make here is you do not need full TensorFlow. You just need the interpreter, which comes with your TF Lite runtime, yeah? So we're loading our models. Again, I'm not gonna go through this code in uh, detail because we have done that in the last video, exactly this. So nothing changed in this code, absolutely nothing changed. It's exactly the same code, yeah, from last time. So yeah, there you go. So this is our emotion input shape. This is our age input shape. Why do we need those? Because those actually go in later on. And I'm also defining class labels, gender labels, video capture, same, same thing that we discussed in the last video, right? And frame is our image that we are getting as the video goes by, which means we are converting that to grayscale. And then I'm starting my timer. And for each of the faces recognized, Let's look at the coordinates of the rectangle of the face and then uh, extract that region of interest, convert that to gray. And in this case, I'm resizing that image to 48 by 48 pixels because that's what we trained our emotion detector on. And scaling and uh, how, do we, how do you predict on a, uh, on a TF light? There you go. 
So uh, interpreter dot invoke, and then con uh, the prediction, I'm converting them back into the class labels, right? Angry, disgust. Again, I'm going through this at super fast because uh, we did this exactly the same thing in the last video. So I don't want to waste your time going through every line again in the same detail. So we're doing exactly the same here for our uh, gender detector, except in this case, our image is 200 by 200 pixels and not 48, because that's what we trained our model on. Same for our age which will come uh, uh, right there. But then, yeah, we are putting the position. Now age, same thing, nothing much to show you here. And uh, when I press Q, I'm going to exit the video. Otherwise, the screen is going to be up there. OK, let's do the fun stuff. This is the code that we have already seen. So I, I went through it pretty fast. OK, at this point, I'd like to pause the video and disconnect the camera. Well, not disconnect the camera, but kill the camera for my recording so I can use it for my emotion detection. Yeah. Uh, and uh, not much uh, there here, right? I mean, uh, in fact, I killed my previous uh, command prompt or terminal window. So I can show you that when you open a new terminal window, you have to first get into the right Python environment and then just run your file. Then you're all set. OK, so let me uh, let me turn the camera off and then come back in a second right here. Okay, guys, I'm back and let's get in. So let's first change the environment. So source dot slash tf light. What did we call n, right? Slash n, uh, hyphen n, slash bin, activate. There you go. So we are in our environment. Now let's see where we are in a directory. Okay, so we need to change this to our Python projects uh, slash uh, emotion detection. There you are. And the file we need to run is zzz. It's in the last. There's a reason I named it zzz so I can easily find it. Okay, so Python 3, ZZZ inference, and you'll see me any second now. Okay, I had to pause and then uh, re-record my voice because it was getting very slow. Yeah, so here it is, me making faces, neutral, happy, and it thinks I'm a female, but I said age and uh, uh, gender can be a bit challenging. I'm not 20s, I'm mid 40s, by the way. It's doing great. And you see the inference time is 3.5 seconds or something, right? So now let's change this no optimized to optimized file. This is what was extremely slow on Windows, and hopefully this works on uh, Raspberry Pi. Let's see. Yeah, that, that is working, right? So uh, again, uh, it's a neutral face. Uh, accuracy is pretty much the same. Happy. The emotions are usually pretty good, you know, in terms of predictions, yeah? Let me, uh, I'm making some funny faces there. That's not a neutral face, surprise face, but yeah, that's that's not bad. I don't know what this sad, it's not getting it. Angry, oh cool. <laughs> it is doing, it's doing a, you see, emotion wise, it's doing a pretty good job. When it comes to age and gender, uh, it's not as good. Uh, disgusting face, let's say disgust, yeah. That's, see the emotion wise, it's doing pretty good. and. It's taking only 2.8 seconds uh, compared to our uh, to our uh, TF Lite without optimization, right? So the one that we just did was with optimization, that was taking about 2.8 seconds or something per you know per prediction, and the one uh, before without optimization, the file size was a bit larger, was taking three point something. So if you run this uh, with optimization file on Windows 10, it will take for infinity. I mean, it won't work very well. So we successfully tested that, hey, this TF Lite with optimization indeed is working faster. It is lighter on a Raspberry Pi device. And uh, anyway, that's that's the knowledge we gained from this, uh, from this tutorial. So now hopefully, you found this to be useful, right? First of all, how do we get our Raspberry Pi to be uh, ready, right? I mean, you need OpenCV for that. You have a million dependencies. Look at the description for a quick, uh, you know, understanding of what dependencies uh, are needed. And uh, the TensorFlow uh, is pretty easy. I mean, the TF Lite uh, uh, inference part is pretty straightforward and easy. And if you want, you can install the full TensorFlow, but I, you don't, you don't need it. Keep it light. OK, so again, I hope you like this video. Please go ahead and hit the like button right now if you do so. And also subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you.